your uh, immediate thoughts on how that went down? Well, first off, two best, two of the best teams in the country getting after it, and you could tell there was nothing came easy. You had to work for everything. Uh, both teams played extremely hard, extremely fast. Like I said, it just two really good hockey teams in a battle. Duluth seemed to um, grab momentum from you guys uh, late in regulation there when uh, that boarding penalty was called on the Sean. Uh, what did you see at the end of regulation that uh, made you um, take, a, or have to take a look at a uh, well, I'll give TJ Ginger up top. He's our director of hockey ops. He's doing the video, and uh, he was able to see a view that you know we thought from the bench but weren't sure. So we just decided uh, with his recommendation that we try to challenge it. And so it's kind of nice because uh, as a head coach, I was 0 5 going into the night on the challenges, so it was nice to finally get one. But that's not on me, that's on TJ. He did a great job up top. Talk about the game that Nick Perbix had. Yeah, he played great. Uh, you know, he. He uh, obviously on the power play coming through big for us, and uh, I just thought five on five as well. He was calm, he was composed, he made good plays with the puck. Uh, when they did get momentum and kind of pinned us in our end at times, he, he defended well. So I thought he had a real, real nice night. Now, how were you guys able to keep, compo keep your composure after you guys uh, got out to the three separate leads earlier tonight? It seemed to have had a response every time. They did, and you, you know they're going to make a push, and they're going to. Uh, we we wanted to try to extend one of those leads, but just couldn't. And again. Uh, <laughs> You know, you're in a dogfight right till the end in a, in a, in a game like that. So uh, I highly doubt it'll be any different tomorrow. Uh, talk about the atmosphere tonight. Oh, it was great. Right. It was great. Obviously, uh, uh, to be able to get that done in the overtime in front of the fans and have that type of uh, energy in the building was, was a lot of fun. Senior weekend, how do you top it off tomorrow? Oh, we just we know we're going to be in the same game. It's it's. Uh, yeah, it, it's senior weekend. It's the it's, uh, last regular season home game, but it, essentially it's trying to play the right way against a team that you could see again at some point. What does uh, Duluth do best that you guys... Uh, they defend really well. I mean, it, it, like they, there's not a lot of second or third opportunities around their net. Uh, they control that area, made it hard for us to get there. They're real sticky defensively. There's not a lot of room. You've got to fight through a lot of sticks and bodies, and it's never clean and easy. So uh, they do a great job of, of defending, and then... Uh, Obviously, uh, uh, they got a great goalie too. Uh, what does Fitzgerald's uh, return mean for this team? He looked like he uh, made himself, made his presence. Uh, yeah, he he played well for you know being out for six weeks. I thought he played well, and and uh, you know what he he brings a lot of energy to the locker room uh, with who he is as a person and, and his energy, and uh, that that was nice to have back. And now we just got to keep playing him into shape, so we'll see if we can get him ready uh, for playoffs. One more game to go. What do you guys need to do tomorrow to get it done? It's just going to be the same. You know, there's not going to be. Our coaching staff's not going to come up with some super secret game plan tonight uh, um, that's going to change things. It's just going to be the same. You got to, you got to win puck battles. You got to get the pucks first. You got to be able to try to get underneath their defenseman and, and create a second or third opportunity around the net. And uh, playing against these guys, it usually just comes down to hard hard work. Yeah. Yeah, for every one of our goals, it seemed like, and I don't know, it was a fun one. Good thing we came out on top. Uh, describe your winner. Uh, actually, me and Patty were on the wrong sides of our power play setup, but I mean, we practiced that before, and then uh, I just was going to the net because I was thinking he was going to shoot. I was expecting a rebound, and then all of a sudden it just hit my foot and went in. <laughs> <laughs> can't really practice situational hockey, can you? No, no, I mean, just games like that. It's just some bounces you want. You want to go your way, and I guess we got them tonight. Do you guys flex your muscle at times, but uh, UMD seemed to always have a response for you guys. How are you guys able to keep your composure every time they push back? I mean, we know coming to this game they're a very good team, and uh, we prepared for it, and so I guess. Every, team, every good team is going to have pushes for us, no matter how good you are. And so we just uh, tried to respond as well as we could and keep our composure, like you said. Yep. Uh, first period, obviously, pretty action-packed. In the second period, um, UMD um, played pretty well defensively. Didn't allow you guys to set up all that much. Yeah, it was kind of more of a neutral zone game in the second, I'd say. But, uh, I mean, other than that 2 on 0 But, uh, I mean, yeah, they, they're a good team. We, we respect them a lot. Um, pretty crazy sequence there near the end of the third period with the uh, – the board on a shot and then the uh, elbowing um, at the end of regulation thrown by Yeah, I mean, we were actually kind of surprised when we got it called. Like Our video guy uh, actually like kind of told our coach on the bench that it probably was going to be a five, and so we challenged it, and I guess it ended up working out for us. Do you remember the last time you scored this many goals in the game? <laughs> it's been a while. I'm not usually a goal scorer, to be honest. And so, I mean, it feels good. It feels good to have it in a big game. What's the difference between this Duluth team or the last time you faced Duluth? I mean, there's a lot of similarities. They, we went one-on-one -on -one against them. They were two tight games. So, I mean, they've gotten better, and I think we've gotten better as well. So, good thing we uh, came out on top tonight, and we'll have to bring it tomorrow. What's it going to take to keep the home record unblemished tomorrow afternoon? 
I mean, just more of the sa- more of the same. We got to keep doing the little things, get better at the little things also, because I mean, they had those pushes, and so uh, I just say the little things are key. Um, what's it going to take to maybe open up the offense a little bit more to to counter the the tough UMD defense? I mean, they're a good team. They're going to have some pushes. We just got to hold them, hold them to as, as few of them as possible. And so, I mean, you got to expect a few. No, no game is perfect hockey. You can't play a perfect hockey game. And so that's, that's I guess, about it. Do you like ending the season with a team like Duluth? Like with a big game, big series like Duluth, is that how you want to end the regular season? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's very big for us. Playoff, get ready for a playoff like atmosphere, playoff game, playoff team. And so I think that was, that was it's been very beneficial for us.